After 1815, the population of the United States begins growing exponentially, as does the population of Boston. In 1820, there were 43,000 people living in the town of Boston. By 1850, there were 123,000. That is, the population tripled in just 30 years. And this tripling comes from immigration, primarily at this point from Ireland. There are also immigrants from Germany and other places coming to work in the industries that are springing up here, building railroads. The first railroad in the country is built in Quincy to shuttle blocks of granite to the docks to build the Bunker Hill Monument. We're also building canals. And up in Lowell and Lawrence, we're building great industrial cities that will be producing textiles. So there's a need for brute labor, and Irish immigrants are coming to this country to work. And this changes the demographic nature of Boston, as now we have people from Ireland who are Roman Catholic, and they're living along the waterfront areas, particularly in Fort Hill, which really becomes an, a slum by the first three decades of the century, crowded into what had been mansions and many living, sharing a room as they've come to work. And work they do. And they build the industrial infrastructure of Boston and of New England, but will be crowded into the Fort Hill area of Boston and the waterfront areas of Boston changing the nature of the city. And one of our big questions is, will they adapt? How will Boston be changed? And what will be the Boston of the mid-19th century as a result of this wave of immigration?